I'm in London to talk about the eye. It's one of the most impressive feats of engineering that you're likely to see. But I'm not talking about the London eye, I'm talking about the human eye. Now we know that the eye is an incredible mechanical marvel. But when you stare into someone's eyes, you're not thinking about engineering. The first thing that you usually notice is the colour. And the colour of the eyes is down in part to a gene on chromosome 15. Now that gene is known as OCA2, or to you or me, oculocutaneous albinism 2. Now in order to work out how the colour in the eye works, let's have a closer look. The coloured part of the eye is the iris. And in the iris, the OCA2 gene gives instructions for the production of a pigment called melanin. Now when lots of melanin is produced, the result is dark brown eyes. When little or no melanin is produced, we get blue eyes. Now the blue doesn't come from a coloured structure or a blue pigment, but arises from light being scattered through the iris, in a similar way to how light scatters through the Earth's atmosphere and gives us a blue sky. Although we don't yet fully understand the genetics of it, it's the same kind of cells and the same production of melanin that causes our skin to darken a few days after we've been in the sun. Although in the middle of winter in England, I think that's unlikely to happen anytime soon. 